Intermountain Mountain Medical Center is using 3D technology to prepare doctors for a very complex surgery. 3D technology in several different forms allows the surgeons to practice before stepping into the operating room. Wes Nance from St. George developed kidney stones. That's not unusual. What is, is his anatomy. His kidneys had developed in the wrong place. Your kidneys are supposed to develop, go high up in the abdomen and tilt inward. Well, his kidneys never went up. They got stuck way down low in the pelvis. Meaning? Unusual blood vessels coming in at unusual places that you just simply cannot predict. Which can create a dangerous situation for Dr. Jay Bischoff in the operating room. Dr. Bischoff, the medical director of the Intermountain Medical Center Urological Institute in Murray, teamed up with Intermountain Healthcare's Innovation Lab to create a 3D reconstruction of Wes's anatomy. These are the patient's actual kidneys. From previous CAT scans came multiple forms of 3D images. One you can hold in your hand, a 3D printout. This is an actual replica of the patient's kidney. And others that project onto a glasses-free TV screen. And the spots that you see here are the actual kidney stones within the kidneys. This is on a glasses-free 3D television. Unfortunately, that can't translate across the camera, but this gives a 3D understanding on a television for the patient and for the clinician to look at, which just makes the experience so much better and gives insights that we typically have never had before. The cutting-edge technology was used while Dr. Bischoff was in the operating room. With the 3D monitor, we were actually able to put the monitor in the operating room without any goggles, I dreamt that one day we would have this kind of technology to help us, and now we do. And it seems like there's been an explosion. In just the last couple of years in surgery planning, I can scroll through those images on my cell phone to get ready for an operation to remind me about the complex nature of an operation I'm going to do. The key to all of this is collaborating with a clinician and focusing truly on the progress that the clinician is trying to make and how we can find technologies that make it easier for clinicians to deliver the care and the outcomes that they want to deliver. And not only were these 3D images extremely helpful in preparing and during the surgery, but the team who operated on Wes rated the different 3D models during the surgery to find out which one was most helpful and what tool may be the best for future complex surgeries.